The following is an Outdoor Channel original production. This episode of Sasquatch Mountain Man is presented by Shell Rotella, the engine oil that works as hard as you. These are the brittle days of northern autumn. If there's such a thing as a varmint whisperer, well then Laramie Miller would sure fit the bill. Just saw a beautiful silver fox. Those are one of the prettiest animals I've ever seen in my life. Check that out. I mean, that is just, and they're big. It's way bigger than I thought he'd be. Gorgeous. Yeah, buddy, he's coming back to camp. And Laramie's calling, don't stop with just one fox. <laughs> Two fox from the same spot calling them in. Awesome. Look at that. <laughs> now that's a day. Oh. Let's rewind the film three days to the beginning of this Alaskan adventure. Well, this is the last little view of civilization we'll see for a little while. Kodiak, the second largest island in the United States. So big that to get anywhere, you gotta have yourself some wings. Gold black tail, single black tail fox. Up at the top of there. Another adventure. A little different country to hunt. Laramie's hunting with his guide, Adam. Though a non-resident doesn't have to have a guide to hunt deer in Alaska, it's not a bad idea. It was pretty awesome. I'm sitting here looking all around. There's literally deer 360 degrees around me. Once you fly in in Alaska, you can't hunt until the following day. But sheer beauty. Actually have a nice day. Set up camp, didn't rain on us. <laughs> Can't beat that, especially on Kodiak Island. It was my first time to Kodiak Island. And I brought a lot of modern equipment this trip around because the weather here is nothing to mess with. <laughs> Last thing I want to do is get so stinking wet and cold. And they find me 10 years from now. It is beautiful, though. You know, one thing about this country up here, as wet as it is, it's always damp. You gotta make sure your gun's clean, especially on these old muzzleloaders. The last thing I want is to have a deer right there and it go pop. Across the wilderness spaces of Kodiak, the deer population is abundant enough to support an annual harvest of more than 10,000. 
pretty nice when you climb out of the tent and you can see deer from camp. Well, that's a good sign. I just left camp. There's a doe and a buck right up here on top of the ridge. They've already spotted me, so I'm gonna go up the bottom of this canyon and get up into that saddle and see what they do. This is a really cool place. You can see for miles. But that makes it kind of tough to hunt sometimes. Sign up for the Bass Pro Shops Outdoor Channel, Mountain Man Sweepstakes. Log on to BassPro.com forward slash Mountain Man Sweeps and enter to win a $5,000 shopping spree. Fill up your possibles bag with all the essential hunting gear. Sign up, Bass Pro Shops Mountain Man Sweepstakes. That's BassPro.com forward slash Mountain Man Sweeps. Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Kodiak Island. <laughs> it's famous for bears, but home to a variety of game, including an abundant population of trophy Sitka black tail deer. It's gonna be a long wait. I got three bucks bedded down and no real way to get closer to them. So it's the waiting game. With all the brands of camouflage there are on the market, the best method of concealment, well, it's still the same as it's always been. Don't move. I've been sitting right here in this saddle for about two hours. One of them just caught up, but... buzzard that's sitting on a limb waiting for something to die, Laramie decides it's time to get up and see if he can kill something. Blacktail are praised as the best eaten deer there is. While some venison can be pretty gamey, blacktail, well, almost never is. All the loud noises in the world, thunder, volcanoes, tornadoes, add the sound of a misfire. Only thing louder <sighs> is the second one. I had a misfire on a nice deer with my muzzleloader. I went to clean my muzzleloader, pulled out the nipple, lost my nipple, and of course, I usually always have one with me. I didn't have a backup, so. With his hawking out of service, Laramie's got to contrive a new plan. Luckily, the guide, Adam, 
has his 12 gauge and slugs for bear protection. Gonna have to make do. It's about as primitive as a muzzle loader, just not as much smoke. That fence back there's electrified to discourage bears. Now that shotgun's for hunting deer. It's amazing how long dusk lasts here. I mean, the sun's been about to go down for a couple hours, it feels like. Wait till winter, it'll be dusk all day. All day is dusk. Mm -hmm. I'd have a hard time with that. The nights might be a plum short up here, but that means the days come sooner. And with them may be a brighter outlook for Laramie. Got a buck coming walking the bottom of this ridge. He should walk right to us. Brought to you by the Ego Power Plus Lawnmower. Ego, power beyond belief. Brought to you by Shell Rotella, the engine oil that works as hard as you. Kodiak Island, Alaska, home of the world's largest bears and one of the most beautiful deer, making a misfire all the more frustrating. Now, Laramie's got to scramble to find a way to carry on with the hunt. Gonna have to make do. Good old patience. Me and her have a love-hate relationship. You know, part of me, there's deer all around me. So part of me says, hey, let's go after that buck. Let's go after that buck. This country's so open that, you know, unless you get one bedded down in a good spot with traditional equipment, you know, I gotta be within 70 yards. Well, in this country, that's kind of a chore. Got two bucks about 150 yards, 200 yards, right here looking at me. out there, I just saw a buck over here. There's two bucks behind us. I'm just gonna sit down, they're moving, they're starting to chase does. Sooner or later, one's gonna come by us. If Laramie had a modern bolt action rifle and scope, he'd already be packing hindquarters out of here. Got a buck coming, walking the bottom of this ridge right here. He should walk right to us. Kind of stuck out in the wide open, so you're gonna have to be really still, but he should walk right underneath us, as long as we don't move. This being Kodiak, Laramie's not the only carnivore who notices a good eating Sitka buck out on the flats. A Sitka blacktail knows enough that when a Kodiak's coming in one direction, it's best to go the other. If you ain't willing to stay out in the rain, you got no business in hunting Kodiak. Pretty much rained all day. Nice and wet. 
gonna head back and get dry. And hopefully the rain will kind of let up and I can hit it hard again tomorrow. One more thing Laramie and bears have in common is that fish are almost as good as deer. I'm going to be a grizzly bear before I leave here. While Laramie's busy chasing salmon bear style, guide Adams catching Dolly Varden the more usual way. Fresh fish. Look at that big old buck on the there. Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. of fur bearers and plenty of Sitka blacktail. A misfire leads to a change of plans and competition for blacktail with a 1,200 pound opponent. Now there's weather to get through on the way to a buck. Been seeing these deer run this ridge a lot. So instead of watching them from camp, I decided I'd come sit up here on the ridge. See if I can't get lucky. It's hard to imagine Laramie could be in a better place to get good and lucky. We're gonna have to sit real still right here and we'll kill a deer. Look at that big old buck was straight over there. I don't have a whole lot of time to sit here and chat. The sun's starting to go down. We are in bear country, so I need to hurry and get down there, get that deer taken care of, and try to get him back to camp before it gets dark. I tell you what, these things are, you know, antlers, yeah, they're not very big, but they are awesome and one heck of a trophy to me. I mean, it's like, a, you look at them, they got the real dark forehead, kind of like a mule deer. You know, they got white tail horns but they got like that brindle, almost mule deer look to their coat. But they're only about, this one might be 140 pounds on the hoof. <laughs> but they are fun and they taste really good. I mean, you look at this beautiful country. This is an outdoorsman's paradise. Seen a few bears from a distance, which is good. A lot of deer. Couldn't ask for more, I'm very blessed. Camp's on the back side of this ridge, so I think I'll try to drag him up to the top, and then it's smooth sailing on the way down. 
just like the mountain men before him, Laramie knows that the key to living in the outdoors is to never give up and always be able to adapt wherever the trail leads. Here, the trail leads to the land beyond the day-to-day, -day, beyond the noise and electric lights, beyond the houses and doors, beyond what most people call beauty, but not Laramie Miller. <laughs>